Hi everybody and welcome to my very first Gina B. Aaron's Designs Design Team Project for January 2018. Let's begin, shall we? Alright, here we go. We're starting with uh, the book that I'm using and I'm going to be using some Dale Rowney acrylic gesso. You can pick that up at any Walmart. Pretty inexpensive. I wasn't sure whether I was going to use gesso or not, but I wasn't sure where I was going to go with this project when I first started, so I thought I'd best start with a clean canvas. So, just went ahead and threw that down. Um, I do make my own, but this is close, close by. And I also made sure I put on some art guard because uh, when you're using acrylic paints, it does tend to really tear up your hands pretty good. So I try and make sure I use that to keep my hands protected. Heaven forbid we have scaly hands. All right, here I'm gonna start laying down my first coat of acrylic paint. And I'm gonna be using the Calypso Teal and the Vibrant Turquoise in uh, stripes, uh, using about three lines apart, give or take. And this helps to um, the two different colors are just a tad different from each other, so it kind of adds a really nice variation. Um, I really liked how it turned out in the very end. It's kind of nice to not have all of this same color, because the sky really isn't always all the same color. So I tried to do it very simply. And I'm just washing my brush off in some water with that has a little bit of um, soap in it so that way it cleans the brush. Um, I do like the way the two colors uh, blend together nicely as I'm doing this. Just putting some finishing touches on there making sure there's no gesso, gesso sh showing through at all. And I'll go ahead and dry this up with the uh, within the, with my heat gun. All right, so now I do believe I'm getting ready, getting the pots opened and prepared for the bottom part of my picture. And I believe I'm going to start with the cut grass. Now you could sponge this on with a makeup sponge, but I really wanted the texture of grass. Um, so I just liked the texture that a brush was going to give me as opposed to using a makeup sponge. Again, I will dry this up with uh, with my heat gun, with my heat tool. There it is. And now I've poured some gesso onto a piece of paper and I've grabbed some bubble wrap here. And I'm going to put some texture into my sky, kind of like some clouds. And yes, I do have an excessive amount of gesso there, and I did put it back off camera into the, into the container. Okay, now I'm going to take some more of my Delusions paint. I believe that color that I'm going to use there is called Dirty Martini. And just FYI, no, I've never had a Dirty Martini, so I don't know what one tastes like. <laughs> Nor do I want one. Not my style. But I'm just using a credit card. Actually, it's a faux credit card. Um, one of those things that comes in the mail and I'm just dipping that into the lid to g get a little bit of paint on the side. And I'm just m making some markings with the um, faux credit card to kind of represent grass. Kind of in an abstract kind of way. 
And now I've cleaned off my credit card and I'm now using Fresh Lime, which kind of has a very yellow color to it, which um, I will bring out later on, um, try and bring that color out or uh, match it to the sky a little bit when I add some yellow in my sky. And this actually almost looks camouflage when it's all finished. But um, again, and then I'll come back again with some cut grass on top of that just to, I uh, know I'm sorry, was it Dirty Martini? I can't remember. I came back with some more just to add a little, little bit more dark in there. And I also peeled that up from my um, paper underneath so it doesn't stick. That's just a piece of deli wrap, deli paper underneath. And I'm going to set that off to the side to dry. And that is one of Gina's Digi Downloads. That is the small, small Circles by Avery. And the square ones is the square, the square Stickers by Avery. You actually can print them out on stickers or you can print them out um, on just plain paper. I've gone ahead and just printed them out on plain paper. And then I'm going to spray it with the uh, Krylon varnish, which seals it. Uh, that way I can do whatever I want to the top of it and the color on it won't move because I do use an inkjet printer. Now this is uh, what I use to stamp on um, as a pad. It's just a block of wood with um, some shipping foam glued to the top of it. It's about a half inch thick and it works really well for, um, for a stamping pad. I can also flip it over and use the other side to dry something on but at this point what I've decided to do I love the colors and the shapes inside the digi stamps so um, what I've decided to do is take some of Gina's um, stamps and I'm going to use my stays on there we go my black stays on and I'm going to stamp some flowers into some of the designs on the digi from the digi uh, sheets that I um, printed out. And that is the first one is from Gina's uh, collection number two of her um, red rubber stamps. And boy, I'll tell you, I have, they really give a nice, a nice um, print when you lay those down. But I try to uh, fast forward as quickly as I can. I'm sure you all just love to watch me stamping flowers on circles, but that is a flower um, and you do get a really cool design when you cut, when you fussy cut the flowers out. And I will come back with a different flower shape from her other, um, from her other set, another set of stamps. But again, that's that's the square set there, the digi set. I love it because you know they're, they're very very inexpensive. You can use them over and over again for many different things. And the ones that I don't use, I just throw in a bin and I'll pull them out. There, I'm looking at the other packet to try and decide which one I wanted to go with for for uh, another flower. And I've decided to use the package number one and I believe I used a guess it is I used a round flower stamp again just to give a little bit of different texture I'm trying to decide which ones are going to give me the best the best look as flowers I really liked those multicolor round ones with the pink. I like my pinks. I get that all cleaned up and then I start the very tedious job of fussy cutting all of those out. But then again, it's really not too bad if you just crank the radio up or the TV. You can sit down and fussy cut all that. Now this this stamp that I I'm sorry this that I'm using right here is a brand new stencil 
that Jean is going to have out in her Etsy store probably around February 1st and uh, the design team uh, we got it first uh, to try it out and play with it it's got four different designs on it and it is awesome I just love it and um, I'm just throwing down some yellow X's on there to show you how I'm trying to to bring those two colors together from the grass and then in the sky and I realized after the paint starts to dry that I didn't really get enough yellow paint on there and that was the paint on there was lemon zest so I gave it a quick dry and realized yeah it's just not just not working for me but um, then I printed out my title um, on my computer and I also sprayed that with a Krylon and I went ahead and used my cutter to cut it out so I had straight lines because I can't cut a straight line if my life depended on it and I'm just going to cut this out and I think I after I glued it on I think I lined it with uh, my Stabilo all pencil and then just took a wet water brush to it to highlight and um, to highlight my strips of paper but I really love the title it's one of my favorites it just says 2018 a fresh new year for creating art and I did glow, glow, ooh, glue glue <laughs> I did glue that down with some Tombow aqua glue after I got it all situated in the sky and then I grabbed all my flowers that I fussy cut and I really I'm very OCD and I really um, thought about just taking the flowers and just throwing them down and gluing them but I just kind of messed with them and messed with them and came up with an idea in my head that you know I'm not a throw down kind of girl <laughs> and that this year there's a lot of things that are just I'm very happy about I'm very grateful for and I thought you know I want to oh yep there I'm showing you the glue it's the aqua tombow But I'll explain this why I did with the flowers in a second but here I'm just using a yellow Posca marker to highlight my X's that I used the stencil to put down um, because I didn't get enough paint on there so but that's okay I can highlight that beautiful stencil by just using that marker and that pulls that that um, little bit of yellow from the grass then I take my white Posca and I just uh, put some X's where the two meet just to kind of break that up so it's not quite so such a drastic you know line there to soften that up a little bit between the sky and my grass Now here I'm using a black Posca and I've decided to use this to create like a vine between all of my flowers as opposed to stems because everything kind of works together and those flowers all represent to me something that makes me happy and they're all interconnected so I figured I would do my own version of a doodle of vines as opposed to stems um, because I liked it and I thought it was different people would expect stems and I thought I'd throw everybody off and throw some vines in there and then I went ahead with a purple Posca and just went around and highlighted around my flowers to kind of make them pop out a little bit I really do enjoy using my Poscas they do a great job of as a paint pen they go over the um, the existing uh, acrylic paint very well 
and they dry pretty quick too, which is nice. You don't have to wait. There isn't any isn't there is not any excessive drying time. They dry pretty quickly. But I love how I'm able to use the digital prints and turn them into flowers. So they really serve a multi-purpose and that's awesome. Gina did a great job in designing those. And again, I'll leave um, a link in the description as to where you can purchase those, purchase those in her Etsy shop. Um, they're very inexpensive and they have so many uses and they're really awesome. And I did go back after um, I was done with that black and I did use some black diamond, um, some black diamond uh, stickles on the vines to kind of make them pop a little bit. They needed a little bit of glitter so decided to do that. And of course I know my centers needed some glitter so I gave them some dark blue stickles in the centers because every flower needs a little bit of glitter. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is my very first design team video for Gina and I'm looking forward to many more design videos to come. I hope you all have a really great January. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day y'all.